what is happening y'all welcome back to redo episode number two uh, and in this episode we actually jump back to the second region because i noticed i had missed a mission the viper and the butterfly so once again we are going to be going through um similar to before this is new game plus since uh the recording for new game had a weird audio desync issue and we're not about that life so you get another look at the beefy boy and now we're actually a true beefy boy so this is this is more in line with what this build would be um we added in a heavy helmet and we have our heavy gauntlets now the other ones i was leveling them on up to essentially send them over to this now this has this is i mean this is the ninja build but obviously i had to get that untouched ninjutsu transferred on over so those are set now uh, but anyway let's let's go through this i think this is I'm trying to remember i think this is a boss fight don't remember for sure oh i think i got i get a thing i got a, I got a thing i can eat let's see dead shards the new game plus things that you pop for buttloads of amrita uh where to go i mean stamina seems so far out of reach but I don't really need anything now that I got skill maxed out. Let's just take constitution to 30, and then from there, I guess we'll focus stamina. Uh, so what's interesting is late game, you can do this thing called remodeling. So even though dual blades typically don't scale like this, I remodeled them to have all the scaling for them focused into skill. So now I can go 99 skill, and then I can focus on other things, like just increasing my total health or increasing stamina or whatever the case may be. Um, I think that's going to be really really useful in uh, fleshing out builds as time goes on. Yeah. What do you think you're doing over there? Yeah. You wanna come over here and drop down so I can beat that ass? These cleavers, by the way, they're they're pretty neat. You can get these as a uh, the recipe as a drop from Namahaga, um, melee damage for zero key enemies, which makes them great for for grapples or for final blows, and then obviously corruption on them. Um, I haven't really tempered them much. We have active skill, high key consumption, and then final blow damage on them, so they're they're decent. They are certainly decent. But this build will need to use uh, swords from the. Uh, Master Swordsman set, so I don't want to get too invested in the dual blades. This is full dark realm. All right, let's go down first. We're not down, up first. Oh God, these things. Poor thing was just like, uh, let me cast, man. I'm like, sit down and die. You will cast no dark foul magics in my presence. <sighs> oh, let's see. Well. You know what? I haven't actually just beat the shit out of one of these things. Oh, he got butt hurt from me doing that. Ow! Bruh. Oh my god! No! Ah! Holy shit! Jesus, tap dance in Christ. I gotta kill those. To, to craft the Tadanashi set that I'm using right now, I actually need uh, Nurikabe parts, so. This heavy armor beef boy set fits my super swole body better. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. 
You know, it doesn't look it look that yeah, it doesn't look it yet, but when this is done, um, what we're playing right now is actually. Oh, I hear your ass. Yeah, that's gotta die. you gotta die. This set will probably outclass um, our ninja. I say that as I die. You know what? Maybe we go towards the Dark Realm first, just to get that cleared out. Yeah, so the thing with this set, I really need my Master Swordsman stuff. Because once I get those pieces... Um, I only have the one right now, but my skill consumption goes down. An extra minus 4% damage taken, and then Sign of the Cross. We're going to go uh, get the four-piece on that, and the four-piece on this. Using three like this, and then this would basically be Gauntlet Helmet and uh, Weapon. And we'll just... We'll clap... Will absolutely clap. Actually, before I do anything, Dark Rum host. Ooh, Sonata. the stuff okay so there's a boss down here well since we cleared the dark region we don't need to worry about that for now we're gonna go back up top and revenge on that shitty cyclops it's so funny seeing someone run around with sea agility I gotta stop every 10 seconds because I'm like I'm out of breath I'm out of breath okay all right we're good spin 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 oh wait I'm out of breath again Dare challenge me. Just need, need two points. Two points and dual blades so that I can test uh, Water Sword. Because Water Sword is the stationary ability. It's kind of like Reaper with Kusarigama. Super good. Super uh, high deeps. But the downside on it is, while it's active, obviously you can't move at all. And for a while, Windstorm was the winner because of that, in terms of, like, uh, L1 triangle abilities for dual blades. And then Windstorm got hit with the nerf bat really hard.
think probably the craziest thing is the damage you're seeing right now. This is just, this is pretty consistent uh, new game plus damage. You know, I'm not, this is uh, the type of weapon you would have pretty early into new game plus. I'm not even like, I don't even have my set completed yet. So this is quite far from my potential. I even have uh, my Tadanashi is, is designed for a ninja. So <clears throat> there's a lot of, uh, a lot of potential buffs that I do not have that would make this a lot stronger. Damn it, dude. That was fucking. <sighs> fucking Tangus. That's all I can say. Fucking Tangus. That's extra shitty. Because I managed. I managed to avoid all of his bullshit. You know, I got all the way over to him. Without falling off. I even. I even managed to, to retreat a little bit. Oh, no, I might be dead here. Tadanashi, keep me alive. Oh, yes. Thank God. I managed to get over to him. I managed to retreat backwards, avoiding his bullshit. And despite all that... Still, still ended up like he didn't even attack me. He just walked into me and I got pushed off a ledge. You guys want to see a neat trick with dual blades? So typically, you know, you got this big, it's kind of slow to get it out. But if you go, oh, where was it? Oh, I can't get it. There we go. You gotta like tap forward right before you do it. It goes a little bit fast. I don't know, it's something like that. It's been too long. I'll have to, to practice it again, but you can like basically animation cancel to get the moves out quicker. The other thing I'm thinking is there's, um, there's a couple pieces of armor that have a defensive gain based on health. There we go, yeah. So instead of doing the full sheath and put away, you like tap, tap. Right there, like that. So instead of, you just tap it, forward, tap it. There we go, okay, I got it, I got it. It's already back. Muscle memory's returning. All right, now, let me pull out a bow here. I'm running out of ammo. Ooh. Oh. Oh.
Okay, Tengu. You won the last battle. The time for revenge is now. I just need to get up there and fight him where he's not a... as much of a threat. Come up here, you big ugly bitch. Come on. Keep looking out for uh what? Oh there it is. I, I'm keeping my eyes out for, for certain things because where I'm at right now. Um so the weapons, the main weapons for this build would obviously be the Master Swordsman swords, which I need for the set bonus. But beyond that, I essentially have an open weapon slot, so I can either main the Master Swordsman gear, which isn't a bad idea, or I can uh, pull in a, like, extra badass um, pair of dual blades. But yeah, how that's doing 1500, when this build is all done, that move you just saw will hit uh, probably about 10,000 damage, if not more. It's going to get silly. All right, up to the boss we go. It's really, really potent against humans as well. Because what you typically do is you'd uh, do the parry thing. You do this, the humans parry them. You'd final blow them, and then you boom, the fat damage on them. It's your like wombo combo, if you will. This is a boss encounter if I've ever seen one. No. Oh, damn it. I tried to roll. It was too late. One of the biggest things you got to get used to is after playing as a ninja for so long, um, this build, on the other hand, is all about do it's about blocking. Like that's the only time I'll dodge an ability is a grab. Okay, you cheeky shit.
bombs. So what you saw there, the like the stamina break into the knockdown, into the final blow, into the sign of the cross. That's what gets good. That's how you uh, start getting nice with the spice. And then if I remember, this mission actually has an accompanying cutscene, which I will now hunt down and play. I don't think the other one did. What, what did we do before? Before we did... Uh... I remember when I handed this dagger back to my father. Yes. Okay. That one had a cutscene, which we're going to play. What about the other one we did? Did in the last episode. I don't think that one had a cutscene with it. What was it? It was learning a lesson. That one did not have a cutscene. This one... Soaring. Oh shit, maybe I don't have it. No, I have to. Hang on. Where would it be? Because that's the mission that gets you this thing. Here we go. Spirit Division movie. Makoto There we go. I just realized I was on mute. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, what you got from it. But anyway, we're going to wrap things up. Um, I looked through the other episodes. I didn't notice any immediately that looked like there was a sound desync. So I'm just going to keep my eye on it. If there is, as you can bet, I will uh, redo it how I did here. So thanks for coming on by. Hope the, uh, the makeup episode worked out for y'all. And I'll see you guys next time.